everyone, Crystal Gamer here with a new speed build video for you. But before I get started in talking about this build, I just want to take a, a quick moment to say thank you to everyone who has subscribed and who's been watching and who's been spending the time with me and all the people on Twitter who have been retweeting and, and just giving me a ton of support. I'm still fairly new and just people have been really, really good. The community, everyone has been very, very good. And so I just want to say thank you because it's been really nice, really nice. So on to this build. <laughs> what to say about this build? This build is so different. <laughs> different is a good word. I originally was calling this the stacked pool monolith. As you can see, I have a huge monolith in the middle of this thing and I am creating two pools and basically have them stacked with the monolith in the middle. And this was just a, a kind of a zany idea that I had and it was it was kind of me musing on what what the game would allow me to do. Would the game allow me to stack pools? Would it allow me to put this monolith in, be in between the middle of them and all of this? And so, so that's how this was birthed basically. And I also wanted to do something with some diagonals. And so I decided to do it in this house and the game let me do this funny stacked pool thing, which was interesting. I was happy about that. And I, I end up putting some supports and other things too, so it's not just like hovering in midair, just in case anyone's wondering if that that particular particular feat of magic continues or not. It it doesn't. It it does get some more support over time. That would probably be one of the biggest things. That, you know, looking at this house even after I'm done with it, just looking at it, I'm saying. From a, from a real life standpoint, once I'm done with it, I, I'm looking at it saying this would cost a gazillion dollars to do. It's probably architecturally possible, but it's definitely architecturally very difficult. So, yeah. So my thought on this house is the Sims that live here, the, the people that the, the people that live here, they didn't just buy this house like this, like, like they specifically had this house designed for them. And they did this because they came into some money. They, they won a lottery or got an inheritance or something like that. But these people are people that have never had money before and they came into some money. So they're kind of like low class people that all of a sudden now they're pretty wealthy, right? So they came into some money. And so I would say this house is rather pretentious is I think a, a good word. And if you're unfamiliar with that word, because I think I have some, some foreign language speakers that watch, it's kind of like pretentious is sort of like showy, ostentatious, like, like showing off, showing off, just kind of going a little bit over the top. So this house kind of goes a little bit over the top. And my thought is these, these folks that live here, because they didn't have very much money before, they were lower class and everything. They moved into this neighborhood thinking, like compared to where they came from, this neighborhood's like really high class. Meanwhile, they still have this kind of like crappy canal in the back and they, they commissioned this huge house to be designed and it barely fits on the lot. And they have this huge water feature in the back that's definitely very pretentious. It's just over the top for the size of the house, for the location and everything. And so that's my idea with this. This entire house is kind of like over the top and the people that live here, they don't actually have any class at all, but they're trying and they're, they want to pretend and they're, they're trying to show off and everything. And so, so they designed this house with the idea of basically just showing off. And so you have this crazy stacked pool situation and underneath the house later on as well, we end up, it goes down two tiers of water and there's water and lights and no ceiling. So the view from that downstairs when you first come into the house and, and basically you have the pool in the middle, you can look down into the pool and it just looks like it's going for a while. And then the bottom, I believe I, I kept the bottom in black. So it just looks like it kind of goes into this black pit, you know, so it just, it looks really, really deep. So it's got that nice, neat little look. And then when I first was building this house, this is, this is a little bit of an older build. And so when I was first building this, we were not yet allowed to resize objects down 
I believe we could enlarge them, but we, we couldn't shrink them. So the monolith, when I was first making this, I was not allowed to shrink the size of the monolith, or I wasn't able to, not allowed to, but I wasn't able to shrink the size of the monolith. And later on, we got the ability to, to reduce things down. And so before I put this on the gallery and before I'm putting this video out, I shrunk the monolith down by one and so it's not there's more swimming area like one thing that i was lamenting especially for the top pool which is actually where people swim like the bottom pool in this build is for show it's it's for when you walk in and basically it's just a bunch of water that's just it's a showpiece but the top pool is meant for swimming and as you can see right now that monolith is taking up the vast majority of it so I was happy when we got the shrink feature because I was able to shrink it down and give that top full pool a little bit more actual swimming area. So that was that was pretty cool. And that is going to be in the in the screenshots. And obviously, you saw the cinematics on the beginning of the video, so you can see it there. So I do include the interior design on this video, although I'll be honest with you, this build is really more about this kind of crazy, funky exterior on, on the house. The interior design is, is good, but it's not like, you know, I wasn't going for anything amazing. Like I said, these, the, the idea in my head is that these folks are just kind of pretentious. So they don't, I don't know, they, they're not, um, how can I say? They're not super classy on their interior design. I guess we could say that. It's just kind of, they 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 made an interesting thing like this this whole thing here because they, they decided to build this house with these really awkward angles just because they thought it would look cool. And so they had to deal with some awkward design choices. But this area, I really like this area actually. This is off the master bedroom and so there's like basically a little reading alcove. The master bedroom has a nice space. It's got a pretty nice bathroom space with a jetted tub, which I really like. And then this this little reading area is kind of a nice area and it goes out onto it goes out onto the bar slash deck, which is kind of on top of the other pool a little bit. That's that's off of this bedroom, so and I don't have the bar out there yet, but I will. But that the exit that goes out, those doors that go out there, they're going to go out to a nice little bar area out there. The house ends up with two bars, one out there, one downstairs. So these people are luscious. No, um, <laughs> no, I don't know. Well, maybe they are. I don't know. But uh, yeah, it ended up with, with two different bars just because I thought the idea of doing a bar in that front uh, porch space I don't know, again, I'm, I'm going for making these people sort of really showy and kind of over the top. And so, yeah, I thought the bar in the front was was good on the over the topness. And this area in particular, this is this is definitely over the top. It's definitely too much for this area. It's too large. But that's that was the thing I was going for here. So <laughs> I had some fun with it. Too large for the space. But it is a cute little uh, fountain thingy. I end up I end up putting some fountains and stuff in it too. So, and I like the overall look of this house. I do like the the funny angles, even though it was in my head to to make something that was kind of ostentatious and a, and a little bit you know like the people are trying to show off and everything. I do actually really like the exterior of the house and all the angles and everything. It, particularly at night, this house looks really good at night. The only thing is, yeah, we're only about halfway through this build and I don't know what else to say about it because there isn't a whole ton more on this build to talk about. It was just kind of a zany idea I had. You know, can I, can I do this stacked pool thing with a monolith in the middle of it? <laughs> only I would come up with something that like crazy stupid. <laughs> And so the, this house, I guess I can talk about like where it is or whatnot. Um, it has, a, it's on a 30 by 40 lot, I believe is the, the lot size. This is one too, where the, the front of the house is 
on the horizontal, which it, there's only a couple of lots in the game that allow you to have the front of the house on the horizontal, I believe. And I think that when I put this on the gallery, I think if I remember correctly, I ended up with a picture of the side of it because yeah, The Sims just doesn't like like houses when you put them on the horizontal lots. I, I don't know why. I wish we had a little bit more flexibility with that, but I don't know why I got on that. In any case, it's got uh, it's got the master bedroom. It's got two kids' rooms. This is this is one of them, and in my head, this is a younger boy's room. This is the younger of the two children, and the other one that we just got done doing that is uh, the older child. And in my head, that's that's a, a female teenager child in the other room. And then uh, there's a guest bedroom downstairs. And I do believe that I just skip over the interior furnishing on the guest bedroom downstairs because I changed it way too many times. And it just, it, it that room frustrated me. And when I say I changed it, I mean like complete gutting and total remodel and moving of bathrooms. And my original design on it was just I don't know. I, I don't know what I was thinking, what I was on on my original design, but it was pretty horrible and I couldn't keep it. And so I, I don't even think that I, I show the interior on that, but we have most of it. It's so hard sometimes to decide what to show footage wise and what not to. You don't want to end up with, you know, really, really long videos. And apparently I'm like the slowest builder in the world. At least I feel that way. This is the bar. I didn't even notice it going in and who knows, maybe I skipped the footage, but yeah, so that's the bar in the front. So yeah, they have a nice little area to hang out with some friends and have some drinks and they can watch the passersby out front and all of that stuff. And then back here we have a little porch area. I do a game table there and in this second floor area, I do a little bit of workout and some more gaming type areas, so. They've got a little bit of everything. They've got some recreation. They end up with another bar downstairs in a grill and stuff. So yeah, they've got a little bit of everything. And here I'm making that floor clear on the bottom because eventually I'm going to dig down a couple of floors and yeah, give us a really nice view. And I ended up liking the dining room in this house and kind of hating the kitchen for a while. That's another room. I redid a lot in this house. like. I ended up disliking a lot of what I was doing and doing redos on it. But this dining room I end up liking quite a bit. And I like the setup with the dining and the kitchen next to each other here like this. So this this part of the house, has, I ended up being pretty happy with at the end. Not right now. This kitchen, I was not pleased. And I think I cut a lot of the footage because I, I didn't like the kitchen and I ended up doing a lot of a lot of redo on it. It wasn't worth it for me to keep all the footage in. The checks, it's the checker stuff that, I don't know, it was just, it, although to be honest with you, that, that kitchen look right there, it kind of goes with the idea of the Sims that I had in mind. Like they wouldn't, I don't know, they wouldn't be too stylish. They would go for things that I wouldn't go for. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's the thing. They would go for stuff I wouldn't go for. So that first kitchen is probably more like what they would go for than what I ended up with, which was something more along my taste. And so design wise, the only thing if I were actually buying this house in real life, I would say that the, the living room slash den area is kind of small, but um, it's too small for the big TV that I put in there. But again, I'm I'm thinking, you know, some some people that had no money and all of a sudden they have a ton of money. So what's one of the things they do? They go out and buy a massive television set, you know. And so they get the biggest TV they can, even though they didn't design the living room quite big enough for that size television. Yeah, that's basically what they did. Stuck a couple of a couple of tables out here, one with an umbrella, one without. I figured I'd, I'd give them a couple of different eating spots there. And I do design it so that it fits this lot. Like you're gonna see, I do a little path from the little trash area out to the side and stuff. So it ends up fitting this lot, even though 
the game is pretty awful about not liking houses that have the, the horizontal side as the front. What can you do? I do wish we had a few more lots that, that you could place the horizontal side in the front though. That would be nice. Because sometimes I like to build houses like that. I seem to like to build houses more on the horizontal than on the vertical, it, it seems. Yet all of our lots are with the, the thinner side in the front. What can you do? And so now I'm building the first tier of the basement, I believe. And as you can see, we have a ton of the lights. Oh, I thought I did a black bottom. Okay, so I did I did some color stuff, or maybe I change it later, I'm not sure, but I may go back, because I, I think I did go back to the basement a couple of times and make some changes. Yeah, and these folks also have a gardener now, so they kind of went a little bit house on the the plants too they kind of maybe overdid it a little bit on the plants but you know they have a gardener they can afford all that stuff now so why not and the woman of the house she loves that particular kind of plant so yeah ended up with a lot of them oh and look at this one my stuff's red down below haha <laughs> Apparently I'm I'm building with Sims in the house. I think I had some Sims move in in the meantime while I was building. Sometimes like especially if I'm doing fountains and stuff like that, I'll want to test. And I don't know. I end up with Sims moving in. I like I end up with squatters all the time on my builds. And I think I had a family move in during the build on this one too. So yeah, my houses end up with squatters all the time. People want to move in. And so I left that footage of doing those uh, touches on the kitchen because it's mostly the, uh, I think if I remember correctly, the big changes at the end are mostly the, the flooring and the, the wall color. I think that was the big thing that I just really didn't like there. But we are going to be heading off into screenshots. Yeah, we're already there. We're off into screenshots and cinematics. So our time together has come to an end. I didn't know how I was going to get through talking through that whole thing. And somehow I managed it. So thank you for like putting up with my rambling. It's awesome. And I hope you like this one. It is definitely a very interesting, different, weird sort of build that I don't even know what I was thinking, but hopefully I'll like it. And if you do hit the like button, please. And if you like this and my other videos, it would be totally awesome if you could hit the subscribe button that helps to support us YouTubers and I would appreciate it a whole bunch. And thanks so much for spending the time with me today. I appreciate it. And I hope to see you again next time. Bye now.